Okay, lesson 6-3, and this is area measuring in standard units. So yesterday we did non-standard units where they told us which size square to use, but sometimes it was a small one and sometimes it was a big one. Today is going to be what we consider standard units, like measurement units, such as inches or squares or meters. So we're not making up the size, they're telling us the size. So standard units are measured, are used to measure the length, the side lengths of a figure and the area. So when we measure to see how long a square is, we use a ruler and we say it's three inches long, or we can use a meter stick and say it's two meters long. Those are standard units. Some standard units of length are centimeters, inches, feet, meters, kilometers, and miles. So write the square units for each standard unit. So we have, if you're talking about square inches, inches can be abbreviated obviously as in, so you have square inches. You can also write square inches. You can abbreviate it. Okay, we have one foot. We would call that square unit. We would call it square feet, or I guess you'd call it one square foot, but you would call it, you could write square feet, or you could abbreviate it, square feet. Okay, a centimeter, you would call it a square centimeter. CM stands for centimeter. And a square unit would be square meters, abbreviation for Meter is just an M. So they're telling us the length of this figure is six meters. So basically each square is one meter long. It's six meters. So what square units will you use to measure the area is obviously going to be square meters because that's what they're telling us to use, okay? How many square units cover this figure? All right, well, we have six going across. So that's six, 12, and 18 square units cover the figure. There's 18 boxes that are filled in. So the area of the figure would be 18 square meters. And you could write out meters if that's easier for you. It depends what makes the most sense to you. It's like uh, writing out the word inches or using IN. It just, it, it doesn't matter either way, whatever is better for you. Okay, so here we have this very nice painting and they wanna know what is the area of it. So how many squares fill it up, okay? Each square unit equals one foot, right? So each square unit equals one foot. So each square unit equals one foot. So how many square units cover the painting? Well, count them up. Pause the video, I want you to count up how many squares, don't pay attention to the little drawing, but how many squares are in there? So pause the video, count up how many squares, and write that right there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 square units cover the painting, so what is the area? It's in square feet, so it's 12 square feet. Or you could write out square feet, whatever you're most comfortable with. Okay, the bottom one. Each square unit represents one standard unit. Count the shaded unit square to find the area. Okay, so this little box is that same shape as size as that one. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so count how many shaded areas, uh, how many shaded squares you have, and write that right there. Square something. Pause the video and do that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. That's 12. If this is 12, that's 12, but let's just 18. And 24 so 24 square inches or you could write out inches okay 
draw another rectangle with the same area. Okay, so we want 24 square inches. So we could do, think of what number is equal 24. So this was one, two, three, four, five, six times four. You could do two rows of 12. You could do three rows of eight. You don't wanna do, you could do four, six rows of four instead of four rows of six. So I want you to draw your own and make sure that has 24 boxes in the middle, but it might be a totally different shape. So go ahead and pause it and do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I gotta go one more. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times two. So that would be twenty-four square inches. But yours might be sideways, it might be eight by three, it might be six by four. So there's a lot of different options for that. Okay, good job.